Working on the night shift, baby. Dying for your time. Hey, y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again. And we're back at it on Saturday, April 6th for the second time. <laughs> y'all, I'm working my very first ever dinner shift. Never done it before. I just want to see what it's like. And now that it's staying daylight till after 8 o'clock, Heather's got some stuff to do tonight. I figure this is a good time to give it a try. So, I'm a little bit tired. I already worked the lunch shift, went home, edited video. Now I'm back out. Right around 6 o'clock. We'll see how this goes. My very first offer was McDonald's, but it's like 875 plus for 3.9 miles or something. So, <laughs> sounds like it's a good sign. I've always wondered if the dinner rush pays more than the lunch rush. So, here we go. Starting off with Mickey D's, y'all. By the way, y'all, I thought about not turning Spark on because I really just kind of want to see what DoorDash and Uber Eats are like. Oh, speaking of Uber, I got an Uber ride share offer uh, just as I was getting into town. I forgot I had ride share turned on. Uh, so I, turn, I declined that and turned it off. My car's way too dirty to give a ride to anybody. But anyway, um, I mainly just wanted to see what Uber Eats and, and uh, DoorDash are like for the dinner shift. I've never done it ever. But then I decided, well, why not see what Spark is like this time of day too, you know? So I've got it turned on. I'm not, I don't think I'll go sit in the Walmart parking lot. I mean, maybe if I happen to be passing right by Walmart, right when it's time for orders to drop or something. But mainly I've got it turned on. If they want to send me an offer while I'm scooting around delivering DoorDash and Uber Eats, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll send me some $50 offer or something. <laughs> I don't want to miss out on that if they want to send it to me. Jesse, I appreciate your business. Have a great evening. Enjoy your McDonald's. All right, y'all. So, eight seventy-five plus went up to nine dollars. That's still a fantastic order. Nine dollars for three point something miles. All right, give me a good one. How about a Stephens? All right, y'all. We just declined a five dollar McDonald's order that was going four miles wasn't quite good enough. I want to see something good at dinner time. But then we accepted a $5 Burger King because it's only going a little less than one mile, I think. So here we go to Burger King, y'all. Sweet tea. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, come on. y'all finally got our Burger King picked up and we're dropping it off I think we're dropping it off at the quality Inn. Um, I think it's right over here to the west 
pretty sure that's right. And then we just accepted an Uber Eats for Popeyes. Not exactly a dirty stack because we'll uh, we'll drop off this DoorDash and then keep going west to Popeyes. Yeah, this was <laughs> this was just a couple of tenths of a mile. I can't see the suns of my eyes. There we go. All right, I'm almost there, Bonnie. She said it's around back. I don't know what she means by back. Back by the highway. This seems like the back. Hey, what's that? What are these room numbers? I can't see them. This is 130, 132. Thank you so much. Oh, all right. By highway, she means interstate. Hey, how are you? What room are you in? No, All right, you must be my guy then. It's for Bonnie. Did I miss that drop off action? And what a shame if I did. Anyway, just dropped off our Burger King. It was like two tenths of a mile from Burger King. Oh boy. Popeyes, what do you know? I'm just gonna take it. We'll see what happens. I didn't notice what direction either of these orders are going. But now we have an Uber Eats and a DoorDash for Popeyes. I better check the destinations. I can drop the, uh, well, I can drop either one of them I want to. All right, let's see what I have going on here. Let me consult the screenshots. Wait, oh, these people are going straight. Nine dollars for five miles going west. And eight thirty-six for three point five miles going east. Mm, I don't know about this. <laughs> I would love to do them both, but that's this uh this Uber's not going anywhere near 3.4 miles. It's uh I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna do them both. This says delivered by 706. That's a long time from now. Uber doesn't say when to deliver it by. The Uber is really short distance. I might see if I can knock out the Uber and then the DoorDash. I think I'm going to try to do both of them. All right, so, so far, seems like the orders are higher paying for dinner shit. Rich, is that you? <laughs> How are you? I've got uh, a, a DoorDash order and an Uber Eats order. Christopher with a K is the DoorDash. What now? It is Tim L. 
Uh, that's Tim. Okay, awesome. All right. Hey, I tell you what, this Uber is a really short distance. I think I'm going to go drop it off and come back. Okay, it's it's only like a mile and a half, probably. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, here's what's happening, and this is legitimate. I'm not making anybody wait any extra time. The Uber order is by far the shorter distance, and it was ready to go. The DoorDash order, they told me they're still waiting on something, so it's gonna be a little while at Popeyes for DoorDash. I'm just gonna go ahead and deliver this Uber real quick and go back for the DoorDash. Which I guess y'all will see in the video because that's what I told the employees I was gonna do. Let me mark the order still being prepared when I arrived. All right, so it's eight tenths of a mile to drop off this Uber. Probably it was nine tenths of a mile from Popeyes. She's going to a hotel right here. I hope they tell me what hotel. 1321 Wingate Hotel. Thank you so much. Oh Lord, room 315. I gotta take the elevator. Alright, looking for the Wingate. So do I still get to call this a dirty stack? <laughs> I accepted them both at, right at the same time. Same restaurant, but the Uber was ready to go. Shorter distance order and the DoorDash was not. Why are we all just sitting here? Just sitting at a red light. No traffic moving in any direction. So stupid. All right, Tim, appreciate your business. Have a wonderful evening. All right, back to Popeyes for our DoorDash order. <laughs> Oops, sorry. No drinks on this one? Thanks, y'all. It's still piping hot. Oh my gosh. Y'all yeah. have a great night. Y'all, I think that little sort of dirty stack worked out just fine. The DoorDash order wasn't ready anyway. And I just, well, y'all probably heard me saying so. <laughs> I felt it when I picked it up. It's so hot it nearly burned my hand. So the guy's not getting cold food or anything. Oh, we're going west. <laughs> I could just go on home. How far west? To the meadows? Yep, yeah, going to the meadows. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe that's enough. I saw what it was like. Maybe I'll just go on home. The Meadows is, man, it's like three miles west of town. <laughs> I've been doing this less than an hour. Alright y'all, I appreciate your business. Hope you enjoy your Popeyes and have a wonderful evening. Oh, sorry puppy. Sorry puppy. I didn't 
didn't bring you anything. All right, y'all, that was a fun little experiment. I'd say the jury's still out on dinner. In Kingsland, anyway. Um, I, <laughs> I thought that it was something magical and wonderful there for a while. Um, I worked a little bit less than an hour and made $31. And I was like, man, this is cool. But, uh... You know, I'm tired. The old man's tired. I already dashed lunch. I already drove a half hour to Kingsland and a half hour back. Dashed three hours at lunch. Came home and edited video and all that stuff. And now I drove a half hour there and now I'm driving a half hour back. And I worked an hour. Made 31 bucks. I stuck around just a few more minutes and declined a couple of garbage orders. I kind of, after those four fantastic orders I got, I got a $5 10 mile Popeye's offer. <laughs> and I got a little Caesars that wasn't terrible. I don't remember now exactly. Maybe four and a half or five bucks. Just going a couple of miles. You know, I think it would have been a really easy delivery. Uh, how long would I have waited in Little Caesars is a good question. But, you know, four and a half bucks at dinner time, that's, eh, that wasn't really what I was looking for. <laughs> and uh, I guess those two terrible orders discouraged me. Plus, I'm tired and ready to go home. And I was just having a little fun. Just wanted to see what it was like. But anyway, y'all, that's it. Not much of a video. I guess I'll turn this into a video. I mean, it's my first dinner shift. I got to share it, don't I? <laughs> anyway, y'all, thanks for riding along with me at dinner. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I really do appreciate it. Hey, by the way, let me address a little discrepancy. Yes, I uploaded my first YouTube video on April the 6th, and YouTube actually sent me a notification today saying happy birthday that it was the first birthday of Dashing Across America. But I disagree. I never published that video. The first video I published was on April 13th. So that's what I consider Dashing Across America's birthday, April 13th. So I'm going to try to get a million views by April 13th. I don't think we can do it. Uh, we need 50,000 views in a week. That's <laughs> that's pushing it. Um, and views have been down a little bit. Otherwise, you know, if we had had a normal month like we've had for the last couple of months, uh, by the last couple of months, I mean like December and January, November, December, and January, we would have hit a million views right around the time we turned one year old. But then February and March, views have been down a little bit except for these live streams uh, that's been keeping my views up but anyway y'all uh, the 13th is what I consider the birthday of Dashing Across America because that's when I published the very first video so we got a week to try to get about 50,000 views I'll let y'all know how it goes I'm not even sure if what y'all can see if you look at my channel and how many views the channel has or something, I think it seems like it stays a day or two behind what I can see in the YouTube studio app. But I'll uh, I'll keep you posted. Let you know how the million views by the one year birthday is coming along. The uh, video I published at 6 o'clock Eastern this evening I stuck a little screenshot at the very, very end, kind of like, almost like an Easter egg. It was after the closing music and everything. But they're showing us at 949,000 and something views. And it will update again tonight sometime. And it'll be, it'll be higher than that for sure. But anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow.